Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In this segment of the Breakfast Show, today we'll be talking about human beings yearning for connection and belonging. And numerous studies have linked social support to positive mental health. Additional studies have also cited the negative emotional impact of loneliness. Yet, with the rise of social media, there are concerns that many people appear to be uh, substituting virtual online connections for real-life social relationships. So, uh, in order to talk about this very important topic, especially that tomorrow is the first uh, day of uh, Eid uh, al-Fitr, and uh, many people celebrate this by starting the feast right after uh, the prayer, visiting uh, friends and families, and some others resort to the uh, online connections by just sending greetings and uh, messages. So, uh, Dr. Hisham Shaharawi, Human Development Coach, is going to talk to us about this in details. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. And how are you? Uh, good morning, doctor. Now, uh, to what extent has the social media, not only the social media, but also the internet, modern technology, and the mobiles in, uh, in particular, has affected uh, or have affected our social relations? Uh, I, I think a few weeks back we were discussing the, uh, the same thing regarding Ramadan and how much mm -hmm. the social media is affecting uh, uh, our behavior and our communication mm -hmm. during Ramadan and during the uh, events, the, the, the uh, religious events and mm -hmm. celebration of Ramadan or Eid or something like this. Back again to the communication and uh, we find that the social media plays um, a very big uh, 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 part of our communication and very important role in in our communication uh, nowadays. Uh, uh, the problem that in the uh, in the uh, previous years or previous uh, uh, 30 years back, around 30 years back, we didn't we didn't use to use such uh, social media. Mm -hmm. We always we were communicating through the uh, uh, telecommunication by phone or something like this and we were considering this as a part of the uh, 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 new generation of communication yeah. uh, maybe 60 years back we were discussing about visiting each other and uh, doing uh, such uh, 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 greeting visits or something like this together it's it's different from one year to another social media now plays a very important part because it's widened the area of communication and in the same time it's more faster more easier so uh, we use it more but does it replace the the, the real connection never never uh, 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 the real connection will be except uh, will be replaced by anything uh, for, for forever we still need to communicate directly face to face Mm. We need uh, to communicate emotionally together. The problem of uh, social media, it doesn't transfer emotions. But the face-to-face -face communication is giving this. Let me explain something to you. It's not only a tradition or uh, behaviors or uh, uh, some kind of day-to-day uh, uh, -day, uh, communication which we are doing. Even Allah, even uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asked us to communicate together. Rasulullah said also in, in Eid we need to ta'am feed the feed, feed the, the poor people, Silat al Arham connecting with relatives, if mm -hmm. uh, salam uh, uh, spreading the greetings. Mm -hmm. This is the orders of our uh, religion. Mm -hmm. This is the order of our uh, tradition in in mm -hmm. Egypt, so mm -hmm. never the, uh, the the social media will replace the face-to-face -face communication. Mm -hmm. um, it has been a tradition since we are talking about traditions uh, here in Egypt. It has been a tradition in the Egyptian society to uh, within each class to make the visit. For example, the the, the higher class would yeah. uh, would gather uh, the family gatherings. Uh, people who live outside uh, their original um, uh, cities would travel all the way to, to the cities to meet uh, the relatives, especially people from uh, various governorates uh, across yeah. the country. Do you see that this tradition is diminishing now or it is still the same? It is diminishing in some areas and in other areas it's still as it is. Mm -hmm. In the countryside, in the villages, in the uh, outside of the cities, it's still 
we have the same traditions. Mm -hmm. Still, uh, uh, all the members of the village are visiting the, the big man of the village or Omda or mm -hmm. whoever, mm -hmm. or uh, the grandfather, the grandfather even he is living away from their village, just to say uh, uh, Happy Eid and uh, uh, to introduce uh, the greetings for him. And vice versa, the grandfather is paying the Eid gift for everybody is visiting mm. him, this mm. idea. Mm. We, we, we missed such th things. In the cities, yes, it's a little bit, it's demolished, mm. little bit. Mm. But not on all the levels, by the way. Uh, mm. In the medium level of families, still we have the gathering day, in the first day, in the, in the, father, in the, in the father's house, or in the family house, and uh, all the members of the family are gathering still till now. Um, me, as example, I still uh, 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 trying to, to, to keep such uh, celebration uh, uh, procedures or traditions as it is, and I'm learning my children to do so. Mm. Now, uh, sir, don't you think, doctor, that still the social media is affecting these gatherings? Because we're sitting beside each other, but usually we're all holding our phones and we're on one form of uh, the social media platforms or another. Back again. Uh, uh, also, before, when we were when we were living together in one home, mm -hmm. we started to put one TV in each room, mm -hmm. and we still we still facing the same trouble because everybody in the family is watching one program different than the other. Mm -hmm. So everyone is separate than the others. That is before 30 years back. Mm -hmm. This is a normal development or improvement in the life. It's not an improvement, by the way, but this is the, the normal... Uh, uh, evolution? Yeah, evolution, which is happening during mm -hmm. the life. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sir, Eid was also uh, marked by certain festivities when it comes to the media. Because I remember when I was young, there were certain songs but still. <laughs> played. Uh, yes, but don't you think that the newer generation aren't that attached to uh, uh, those uh, 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 celebrations in the media? They are not very concerned with uh, media celebrations as we used to. Because we used to listen to Safa Abu Saud, for example. Yeah, uh, the song they... And the song of Eid. And now I see that my kids, they don't have things to remember about Eid in particular. Yeah. I'm talking about the media here. It, it depends. Uh, what, what do we mean by, by media? If mm. we're still speaking about the traditional media, the TV and the, and the radio and such this, I agree with you. Mm. Uh, but there's another media. There is a parallel media mm -hmm. came now through the social media. Uh, before yesterday, we were looking for a place for the kids mm -hmm. to spend the first day um, mm -hmm. just to, apart from the family, just to, 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 to save some kind of headache, which we are facing by them. Mm. So uh, we were looking for some other areas to send the kids there. We mm. found another area. These areas of, uh, of communicating between children, like uh, some places in Cairo, I don't like to, to, to mention names, mm. but there is some kind of uh, areas for, for, for communication of the kids. Mm -hmm. How did they know? They know through the social media. Mm. Uh, yes, uh, yes, it's, uh, yes we, 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 we are not the same uh, like them now, right now. Uh, they are not uh, uh, dealing with the normal media, the traditional media, on the same way we, we were dealing before. Uh, they mm -hmm. will, they don't like to be static, mm -hmm. like we were, we were before. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, there is a parallel social media is born now, mm -hmm. and it's uh, encouraging them to join. Mm -hmm. You can visit Korba tomorrow morning and mm -hmm. let me let me know what's your opinion okay i live in Heliopolis, so it shouldn't be a problem okay but so what i meant is that the kids don't have things to remember about aid when it comes to the media as we did because they rely more on on the social media as you said and the traditional media is taking less of their time they will have always they will have maybe they will not have the same what we are carrying in our memories but they will carry another. Uh, some of the uh, youth, yesterday I was sitting with some youth uh, 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 in somewhere, they told me they are going to some place called Om Memlug. Mm. 
it's the first time for me to, to hear this name. Mm. And I, I think for you too. Yes. Uh, uh, what's Omamlug? I asked them, what is this place? This is the place which we shall visit in the first day in Eid, and we shall spend two days there in camping, uh, uh, doing hiking, and uh, sitting in the nature. This they will remember, of course, that they spent the Eid of uh, uh, 2016 in Omamlug. But that's, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for, for the Eid itself, you, as we were talking about it and the social media now, are there certain tips that you'd like to tell the family members uh, in terms of how to deal with the social media and uh, the intercultural or in social relationships during that uh, period of time? First, uh, uh, we need to know as parents first mm. that we have a rule. Our rule is to try to keep a minimum level of uh, uh, communication, the maximum level, sorry, of communication mm -hmm. with our children and our kids. Mm -hmm. Because this kind of uh, area, this area of communication which we are keeping with them mm -hmm. is giving them some kind of, of, uh, of uh, 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 storage mm -hmm. for the future. Mm -hmm. um, we lost the gathering uh, during preparing the uh, 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 mm -hmm. as example, mm -hmm. we lost the uh, the gathering uh, when we are going to the uh, Eid rituals in the early in the morning. He is going with his friends. I am then going alone. We are not going together. Uh, we lost the gathering with the uh, with family with the holy with the holy family uh, together. We lost visiting uh, each other together. We lost going to the uh, to the beaches, resorts together. Everybody has his own interests. Mm. As much as we can keep them, mm. not presenting them, but we are keep them with an advantage to be linked and connected to the family. As much as we are gaining social media, it's very useful, but it has a time, mm -hmm. and we need to define the time. When can you use it? and how much can you use it? We are not slaves for the uh, social media. Social mm -hmm. media, it's our slave. Mm -hmm. We need to use it. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Hisham Sharawi, thank you very much for this interview and happy Eid. Thank you very much. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sharawi. We wish you a, happy, uh, a very happy Eid. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us in this edition of the program. You were in the company of my dear colleague Rashmadi and myself, Hanul Hamalewi, both wishing you a very blessed Eid. Bye-bye.